Hello, my name is Shivdat, and today I'm going to give you a very quick and brief introduction to garbage collection in Java. Alright, so in Java, objects that one creates, instances of classes, are stored in an area of memory called the heap. There's also the stack, we won't go into much detail, but the stack is basically, uh, can be looked at as scratch space for functions, uh, for, for threads, sorry. So for example, a thread would pop, you know, different functions on the stack, which literally looks like the stack. The last thing that was put in, uh, pop, will, pushed in, will be the first thing that's popped out. So it's um, last in, first out. Um, but, but now we're really focused on, on the heap, which is where all objects, uh, um, Java objects, would be um, stored in memory. The heap basically comprises three rings. Three parts. There are three parts or three generations, as they're called. There's the young generation. Um, there's the old or tenured generation. And finally, there's the former area. Really is the, the permanent area. The young generation itself is divided into the Eden space, survival one, survival one area, and survival two area. So that's really kind of an overview of how the heap. In, in, in Java looks and how it's divided. Um, basically, objects, when they're garbage collected, are kind of sent to the young generation. Uh, they make it through the Eden space, survival one, survival two, and then sent to the older tenure generation. The perm area, permanent area, is basically where it, it, it stores um, metadata, so the stuff dealing with annotations for Java programs. It stores, um, it stores a string pool. Strings in Java are fascinating, they're immutable. Um, if you create you know, string A and set its value to S shiv, S-H-I meaning you set string B and set its value to shiv, uh, they both point to the same object, so to speak, in the string pool. They won't have separate new, different objects. Um, and, and, and really, the gov Garbage collection um, happening here is very JVM dependent. It, you know, there may be some garbage collection, there may not be any garbage collection in the perm area. It really depends on the JVM. All right, so this is kind of a layout of how the heap looks. And what garbage collection essentially is, is reclaiming areas of the heap uh, occupied by, you know, uh, objects that were created that are not, kind of not going to be used anymore. So that's really what garbage collection is. Um, it's uh, unlike in languages like C++ where the programmer has a lot of memory management to do. Java takes care of that, so the programmer doesn't have to go down to the low level and actually, you know, allocate and deallocate memory. Deallocate memory. And um, now let's let's take a look at how Java um, actually carries out garbage collection. There's basically a thread called the daemon thread. Now threads are basically processes, or, you know, lightweight processes that, that so you can have one process happening, another process happening, and uh, kind of various threads, various channels of the program um, occurring at once. So there's this thread called the daemon thread, which is you know constantly running in the background, uh, carrying out this garbage collection. And it's very interesting to note that that um, that the programmer can't force the garbage collection. He can request garbage collection by you know say calling the function system.gc. Um, but but you, you can't force gar garbage collection. You really, there's no way to kind of um, make sure it happens. Now, you may have come across the outer memory, Java outer memory era. That happens when so many objects have been created on the heap and you try to create another object and there just isn't any space left on the heap. So garbage collection is important to make sure there's constantly some space left in the, in, in, in the heap so that if you want to create more objects, then there's space for, uh, at least you know, you're not being stopped 
by uh, obsolete objects that are no longer being used. And so how, do, how exactly does an object become eligible for the Elbridge collection? I uh, hope you've had a chance to look at this. I'm going to take it off. So an object really becomes eligible for garbage collection if, um, if there's no reference to it anymore. In other words, if it's reference or not. So say I created object shiv equal to new object, right? I created a new object called shiv. And it's shiv dot, um, you know, value, whatever properties, equal to 5, blah, blah, blah. And then I did shiv equal to null. So suddenly, the reference to shiv is null. There's nothing referring to it, so it can never kind of be used in the program anymore, and it's eligible for garbage collection. Similarly, if you had an object A, which refers to object B, and object B refers back to object A. This kind of circular reference will also make both of these objects eligible for garbage collection because, you know, they're referring to themselves, not to anything else, they're never going to be called, never going to be used. We can do away with them. <clears throat> and, um, and now, the different kinds of garbage collection that go on, like I mentioned, the daemon thread runs in the background. Usually, while the application is running, it, it you know, carries all on its own. Um, garbage collection, but it's very possible that, um, uh, that if you remember when I was drawing the heap, that that old generation, the second area, there's a new generation, old generation, and the perm area, that the old generation will fill up, um, in, in which case the application would stop and only garbage collection would happen. And that's basically, that kind of mode is called full garbage collection. So. Concurrent garbage collection is the concept of this daemon thread constantly running in the background, and full garbage collection is when the application actually stops, uh, so that the garbage collector can, can clear out some of the old generation, and then and then get back to running the application. So it's a very quick, short um, tutorial on what garbage collection is in Java. Uh, hope you enjoyed it. Thank you very much.